What's going on everybody? It's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and today in this video I'm going to show you some wild tips for green screen, some cool things that you can do with images as planes and bringing in your movie clips or your keyed out footage into Blender and guys this is just too powerful so let's get right into it. So I'm going to go to my camera mode here. As you can see, this is my little 3D set that I've built. And the one thing we're missing is we're missing our video footage. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to go to Image and then Images as Planes. And if you don't have this add-on enabled, you need to do it. It's up in Edit, Preferences, and then you just type in Images and it should pop up. Just make sure you check it there and you should be good to go. So I'll hit Shift A, go to Image, images as planes, and then I'm going to navigate in my computer to where I have the footage saved. So guys, I'm going to use this clip right here, this walking rear keyed, and I'm going to bring this into Blender, but I'm going to also show you my exact settings for how I get this stuff to look good in Blender. So what I'm going to do is hit import images as planes. I'm just going to switch over here to solid mode. And if you want to be able to see the textures, uh, you can hit this little drop down arrow and it will be on material for you. You can just change it from material over to texture. And our images as planes is way down here. So I'm going to hit G and Z and move it up and bring it into my scene. I'm going to hit 7 on the numpad for top mode. And then I'm going to hit G and Y and just bring this to about here. And as we can see here, it's, it's very small. So I'm just going to scale it up a bit and hit G and Z and bring it down. Something a little bit more realistic in scale. G and X and just bring that over a bit. So you want to go ahead and just line your footage up into the scene. Something like that should be all right now for the tutorial. So the first thing I like to do is if I hit play, I can see my character's taking a few steps here. So everything looks good. And I just hit tab to go into edit mode, right click. And I'm just going to cut out some of this area that I don't need just to clean up my workspace. So I'm just adding a few loop cuts and then hitting three for face select mode. I'll select these faces I don't need. I'll hit X and I'll delete the faces. So now I just have a bit cleaner of an area to work with. So if we go to our rendered mode here, you'll see that this doesn't look too bad, but there's some things we can do to kind of grade this into the scene. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my material properties and with the roughness, I'm just going to bring that roughness all the way up. And a couple other things I need to do is if I scroll down here to my blend mode, I'll change it from alpha blend to alpha hashed. And also from alpha clip, I'll change this over to alpha hashed also. And this is just so that when you enable screen space reflections and ambient occlusion that you'll get shadows and reflections and it will react to the environment much better. Which I have a video that goes a little bit more in depth on how you can use cameras and images as plain. So I'll leave that video in the description. So my camera is angled this way when I look through the camera lens. So I can grab this and just hit R and Z and just rotate this just a little bit so that it's facing the camera a bit more. And we, we might just want to grab this and hit G and X and move it over a bit more like that. And you can see the shadows down there. It's pretty sweet. So this is not looking too bad, but if I zoom in here, you can see that I'm still not completely uh, colored correctly and graded into the scene. So what I'll do is I'll select my clip here and go to my shading tab. And if I switch over to rendered mode here, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So one thing we can do to get this looking a bit better is we can grab our color and we can plug the color into the emission. Now this has our character popping a bit more, but we can see that even though he's popping a bit more, he now looks a little bit not so graded in with the rest of the scene. So there's a quick uh, way that we can fix this, and this is a little bit different for each situation. Sometimes you do have to play with this, but I found that if you just drop a hue saturation node in here, so I'll look for a hue saturation value, plug that right into here. And then if I grab the saturation and just bring that down, now to zero. Now I'm much more graded in with the scene, but I'm also still popping because I have the color going into the emission. So now if I look back through my camera mode right here, I'm much more integrated into the shot. So guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.